Right team, this one's all about fungi. Fungi? We don't do fungi, we do towers. Well actually, in the background, we have just spent the last six months looking into how we can grow really interesting types of mushrooms, both culinary but also with lion's mane. It's proven to be extremely good for cognitive decline. It's got great medicinal benefit, right? So it's all about urban growing. It's all about growing it in the location that it's gonna be consumed, just like it is with the towers. And there's a massive symbiosis between mushrooms and leafy greens. There's a direct link. I'm not gonna tell you what that is because that's a trade secret, but in my big greenhouse, which we're just about to start building, we are going to look to combine both of these things to create something that is unheard of in Europe, in fact, even in America. So watch on, it's gonna be really interesting. Right team, we're here with Alex. Alex is, what are you doing Alex? Growing mushrooms. We're growing mushrooms. <laughs> This is a really, really important day because what we've been doing in the background for around about, I mean, it's three months we've invested in the equipment needed to basically start creating our own uh, strain of mushrooms. We've brought in some incredibly good DNA from, I think it was Canada, Canada wasn't it? Yeah, this one came yeah so we brought some um, Canadian DNA, DNA in and we've then put it into agar jelly, we've grown that out, we've created spawn bags, that spawn bag is then split and put into uh, bigger bags and those bigger bags are left to run and then we've got our first harvest of epically good lion's mane and it's honestly it's been a mission but this is such a good day so Alex is going to go and get it, I can't go into our seedling room due to contamination of the seedlings um, so he's going to grab it, we're going to take it out, we're going to weigh it, we're going to see how much we've got off it. It's awesome. So, crack on. Look at that. That is an amazing thing. Look at that. So that is lion's mane, and that is a massive lion's mane in comparison to, reference. yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. I mean, we have, right, what's the punt? What are we betting on the weight? I'm guessing 1.6 kilos. 1.6 kilos, yeah. it's a five kilo bag. You generally get half the volume of mushrooms in the size of the bag. That's across multiple flushes though. Yeah, exactly. So this is the first flush we're gonna take off. We then put it back into its location and we've then got another flush coming, and then a third. But the second is usually the biggest. So, so, so if we're starting at 1.6, the second's two kilos. You know, we're well over half the way wow. of the bag in terms of total yield. So Amazing. Yeah. I'm so pleased. I'm so, oh man, this is such a good day. Right, we're going to take it outside, and we are going to weigh it, cut it, and then cook it and eat it. I can't wait. That is amazing. Lion's mane due to literally the... The little fronds that come off actually look like the lion's mane. How much is that one? Let's just see how much that, that bad boy there is. That's 130, 135. Ooh, okay. It's going to be really interesting, this. Maybe just over. What do we reckon? I'm punting at 850. That's me being a pessimist. That's half of it. What did you say? 1.4? You said 1.6. 1. 1. Oh my god. Okay. What's that saying? The difference between this and the stuff that you're buying anywhere, well frankly you can't really buy lines mate because it's so uh, relatively unique in the UK at the moment, um, is frankly the freshness, right? Your average mushroom in a supermarket has come from Holland and is uh, 7 to 10 days old. This is approximately 45 seconds old and it's just looking so beautiful and it's so delicious. It's 
got a little bit of a crab texture to it and cut it into 300 grams yeah. a bit like a steak in butter basted both sides over and over again just stunning right Ooh, yeah we were massively <laughs> massively <laughs> optimistic okay so he was very keen i like his style it pretty much sums up how keen we are on the whole thing 623 grams so that's pretty damn good in my mind for a first flush so, so the second one's about 850. so that's going to be 1500 so we're not going to be that far off and the no, third no, one no. is another 500 so yeah. that'll be 2.1 it's pretty so, good yeah about about, about, about what we should be really, yeah. amazing Anyway, that's us. Looking forward to, that's the first of many bags. We've already got orders for, what do we got? 10 kilos every two weeks, plus our own requirement, which is gonna be 20 kilos a week, because we're gonna do a lion's mane burger. It's gonna be amazing. So really, really pleased with this. Look at that. Stunning. Look at my mushrooms, people. <laughs> the lion's mane. Right, Sheffy's just way too busy in this beautiful weather. So I thought I would cook it up, right? And I'm gonna do something on the barbecue. I'm gonna make it super simple. It's essentially just treating it like any other type of protein you'd put on there, but I'm gonna I'm gonna saute it with some shallots. It's gonna be amazing. So all I'm gonna to do to start with is I'm taking the lion's mane. It's quite an interesting texture. It's quite soft. Um, it's apparently, I mean, I've only had it once before and that was in a dish, so it was quite, quite a unique taste. Um, it's got that feeling of kind of crab, a slight seafood taste. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be really easy with it. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna slice it into lengths and then I'm gonna put it onto the barbecue in a pan. We're gonna be good. So simple as this really, really, really interesting. Very, very, very s subtle way of doing it. Just going in like this. Right, people, banana shallots. I love banana shallots. There's just such a lovely addition to so many dishes. Shallots are great, but the banana are, they just give a really lovely sweet tang over and above a normal shallot. And um, they're, yeah, they're amazing for just brightening up a dish, not too oniony. So, banana shallots, we take two of them, break them down. Right, peeps, so simple this. I'm really not doing anything you couldn't do in your uh, kitchen. Basically, all we're gonna do is take some, uh, some butter. But I truly healthy this. <laughs> we need help. Beautiful day, middle of August, Sunday. And now I'm adding toasted sesame oil as well, just to give it a bit of a touch of taste. Now the mushrooms will seriously suck up the, uh, uh, the butter and the liquid. Subsequently you have to put quite a bit in there. And it literally just goes in there. And some coriander. Just gonna break that up roughly, it really doesn't need to be anything special. These are micro herbs that I've actually grown here, so they're a little bit stalky, but they still have the most amazing taste.
Beautiful. Right guys, we're about halfway through. As you can see, I've been, uh, well, a fair amount of it's gone in there, but quite a large proportion of it's gone down there. But it's gone, hey, it's a beautiful Sunday evening. And we have Lion's Mane for the dinner, which is the first. So, there, you're talking about three minutes on each side. It doesn't need to be much more than that. Keep adding that uh, butter and the oil so that it does, it keeps it nice and brown. Otherwise, this is gonna be the most delicious dish to then accompany anything else you want it's a side dish to go with some some uh, meat so i've got chicken i've got some beef burgers and things like that it just brings it up a level so team i was going to end it there but actually do you know what i need to try it because it's a really really interesting taste it's kind of got a how can one put it everyone talks about the idea it's got a kind of crabby feel to it a slight seafood vibe so good. It's so nice to be able to bronze it to give it some proper depth of flavour on the barbecue along with the shallots, the other bits, the ginger beer. Just amazing. Such an interesting taste. I really really like it. Sits so well with other different things on the table. Honestly, such a good thing to try. Anyway, so that is me now. I need to drink more ginger beer. See you later.